horny people and welcome to the channel. Today we have probably one of my favorite videos to film, a little Aritzia haul. I am an Aritzia girly. Honestly, I should be an Aritzia ambassador. Do they have like an ambassador influencer program? I know I don't have that many followers, but like Aritzia, Aritzia, the amount of money I've given your company. Like, where's the free merch? Where's the gift basket? Um, we're gonna need to work something out. But I'm actually being serious when I say I am obsessed with Aritzia. I feel like you're either an Aritzia girl or a Skims girl. Personally, I can't afford Skims. Skims is very expensive. And I feel like people think of Aritzia as a very expensive brand, but their basics, like their basic tops, are unparalleled, unmatched. The quality for the price point, is quite literally insane. I'm pretty sure all the items I have to show you today are $35 or less. And these are like my favorite items from Aritzia. I'm not just showing you like random cheap stuff. Like these are my absolute go-tos. The quality's great, price point's great. Like at Aritzia, you have my heart, you have my heart. But yeah, I have a couple new items to show you, but I also pulled out my top favorite go-to basic tops from my closet and i'm pretty sure in total there's five items so this is really just like my top five favorite basic tees slash tanks from aritzia my favorite go-to everyday basics but yeah let's just go ahead and get started also i'm sorry if you could hear my fan going right now i always get so hot when i start filming i don't know what it is it's like stage fright like i genuinely like mentally start freaking out the second I turn my camera on and then I start sweating and then I start sweating and like I just can't deal so hopefully you can't hear it but it's on you might see my hair blowing a little bit yeah all right you guys so the first top I got is this little basic tee if you followed my channel for a while you've quite literally heard about this tee probably 10 million times. I own this top in multiple different colors and this is just like the most recent color I bought. And this color was actually sold out for months. I bought it on pre-order like three or four months ago and I finally just got it. So that's fabulous. And this tee is the Seamless Cinch Smooth Willow T-shirt. It's $35 and this is the color Shy Pink and there's tons of different color options with this top. Like I mentioned, I already own this in multiple different colors, which I'll also show you in a second. And this top always has has their core collection which is just all of their neutral colors and this shy pink is actually part of the core collection and there are seven colors in their core collection and it's basically like a white a taupe an ivory a brown a black and then this pink color and then this top also always has like different limited edition colors right now there's a ton i feel like even a couple months ago there was only like five or six limited edition colors right now there's what seven eight nine ten eleven you know lots of different color options and personally, I own three other colors. This is the Sugar Plum Lilac color. And you might be wondering, why did I buy the Shy Pink color when this color is obviously very similar? There's a whole backstory around it. Essentially, this top is like actually ginormous. And that's a whole nother topic of conversation, actually. If you look at the size difference, so this is the new one I bought, the Shy Pink. This is the Sugar Plum Lilac. This is a small, this is a medium. Um, it's ginormous. And honestly, the story is like probably not worth mentioning. You guys probably don't care, but essentially I accidentally got the medium. It's way too big. For whatever reason, I couldn't return it or I just didn't return it. I don't know why. And I literally don't wear it. I think I'm gonna try to sell this on Depop because it's just far, far, far too big on me. And that's honestly one thing I really don't like about this top is the sizing is very inconsistent between the different color options. This one obviously runs very, very big, but I also got this blue one and I feel like this one runs true to size. These are both limited edition colors that are no longer available, but I just thought I would show them. And then I also have it in black and the black definitely runs smaller, I would say, compared to some of the colors. But for the most part, I do get this in a size small. The Sugar Plum Lilac one I got in a medium, way too big. The blue one I I got in a medium and that one actually fits pretty good but the black one I got in a size small and this shy pink I got in a size small and for me the small definitely fits better and I run between a size four and a six in case you're wondering but yeah absolutely love this top the fabric is so insanely soft I mean I can't even explain I can't even explain this is my absolute all-time favorite fabric from Ritzia it's super lightweight it's not like your traditional contour fabric that like really sucks you in it's not that thick 
Like it's very, very lightweight, but for me, the lighter colors aren't sheer. I know some people in the reviews have mentioned like the lighter colors are sheer. Personally, I wear a nude wireless bra whenever I wear this top and it's not sheer for me, so I don't know. And the fabric is just so lightweight and breathable and comfortable. I honestly wear this top as like pajamas. It's that comfortable, but I also wear this top to work. This is one of my go-to tops when I like do not know what to wear when I'm getting ready for work. I'll just throw it on. On, throw on a pair of jeans and like my adidas sambas and i'm out the door genuinely of all the tops i'm going to show you i think this is probably my all-time favorite but yeah she's an oldie but a goodie obsessed highly 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 recommend i almost forgot to mention this top also comes in a lot of different versions they come in different sleeve lengths different like lengths in general i always buy my aritzia tops in the waist length which is like the middle length you have the crop the waist and the hip and the hip is always like a little too long in my opinion i personally love the waist length but they also have a long sleeve version here and they have a scoop neck version a square neck version a v-neck version and then they also have this exact same silhouette in a rib and a baby rib so you know Lots of different variations if you don't prefer a crew neck or if you want a longer length or if you want a crop version, you know, so many different versions with this guy. Okay, and then the next type I got is just this really basic white tank. For whatever reason, I feel like I've tried so many different tanks and I've like never found the perfect wear to work, but also loungewear tank. I very much wear like loungewear to work, I'm realizing. I wear a lot of basic Aritzia tops to work because they're just so comfortable and like easy to wear, easy to style, but they also, you know, are comfortable. So I also just like go home and throw in sweatpants or leggings and like just keep the top on. And honestly, until recently, Recently, I have been searching high and low for the perfect like everyday tank and I also had this guy here this I actually bought a couple months ago and I'm obsessed with it truly and honestly obsessed this is the home stretch tank I'm pretty sure this is like honestly amazing and I love it in the heather gray but the reason I didn't buy it in the white is this fabric is a little bit more casual it's not as much of a suck you in fabric whereas this new one I got is definitely a little bit more structured it's a bit thicker and it's just less cozy feeling but for whatever reason I liked the heather gray color and the more cozy fabric and I've been wanting to buy a white tank Tank, and I wanted something a little bit more structured and I saw this on the Aritzia website I'm pretty sure this is a new release and I thought I would try it out This is the seamless cinch baby rib self tank So it is like a very small refined baby rib. This is $35 So it's the same price as the tea body and this top only has two color options They just have white and black obviously I got it in white and I'm assuming they only have the two color options because it's a brand new top Like obviously they're not gonna drop 20 color options and a top that they have no selling on and I did buy this in a size small okay and I just wanted to show you the fabric up close I hope it's focusing um, because it is a really tiny rib but yeah I'm honestly not great at explaining fabrics but I just figured I would show you and on the website it does say that their cinch baby rib is a body hugging fabric with a finely ribbed texture that forms to your shape for a perfect fit seamless construction provides a smooth look and an ultra comfortable feel so yeah I don't have much to say on this guy yet because I honestly have not tried it on yet so we'll have to see I'm honestly just kind of comparing it to this tank that I already own and if I don't end up loving this I'm just gonna return it and buy this tank in the white color again the reason I didn't already do that even though I love this tank is because I wanted a more structured fit for the white tank this white one I sort of envision myself dressing up a little bit more I feel like there's certain nights where I'm going out where I'm like I just want like a form-fitting tight basic white tank especially because I have a lot of cute like white denim pants with like different graphics and I'm like I just need a white basic to throw on top but I want it a little bit more structured obviously if I'm like going out going out on the town you know there's different there's different purposes where you want slightly more structured slightly more casual or that might just be me because I'm actually crazy and I'm so particular about my clothing there's a perfect fit a perfect fabric for every occasion and I'm one to find it I am one to find it okay you guys so this is the only top that I'm going to talk through the try on portion because this is the only top that I haven't actually owned in my closet and like already know I love it obviously the other top that I just bought I have already owned that top in like many other colors and already know all the info on that and I feel like I already kind of went in depth on like all of the details on that top this top I've never owned before and this is my first time trying it on so I thought I would kind of talk through it so I can actually let you know if I recommend it so far like first impressions I really like it it's 
definitely very comfortable and I do feel like it's flattering. I feel like it's definitely like sucking me in a little bit. It is form fitting, which is exactly what I was going for. I feel like I could wear this top to work, but I would also wear this like going out, not to a club or anything, but I feel like there's so many nights where I'm like going to get dinner or I don't know, just like meeting up or going to a house party and I want to wear something cute and like a little sexy, but obviously like we're not going crazy out here. And I feel like this is like really nice and form fitting. I feel like it's really sucking me in. Just to show you up close, I really like it. I'm wearing a nude bra underneath and I feel like it's not too obvious. I'm not one to really care if you can like see the outline of a bra, like I genuinely could care less, but I feel like it's not too obvious regardless. And I feel like the cut is really nice. I don't know, with some tanks, the cut, like it has to be perfect. If it cuts in too much, it shows like that armpit fat that personally I hate. I'm so insecure about my armpit fat, like don't even look at it. And I feel like this top really covers that really nicely. I also love a high neck with a sleeveless top. Love a high neck. I feel like it's really flattering for whatever reason. The only thing that I don't love is I feel like it's puckering a little bit at the neck. It's not sitting super flat and it's a little annoying, but I don't know. I don't really care. It doesn't really bother me. I also like the length. I feel like this is a pretty traditional waist length. And you know, if you raise your arms, you might see a little stomach. I definitely push the boundaries at my corporate office. And you know, I wear some tops that maybe my stomach shows a little bit. Like this top for instance, like I'll definitely wear this top to work. But you know, it's not so obvious. Like you really can't see your stomach. You know what I mean? And I feel like most of my pants are more high-waisted than these pants. So it makes me even less concerned. Like even with these pants, my stomach's not showing, you know what I mean? I really like it. I definitely recommend this top. And I feel like I like the white in this top and I like the heather gray in the other top. I feel like the white was too casual in the other top and I don't think it would have like sucked me in as much as I would have wanted it to. So I definitely recommend the heather gray for the other top and the white in this top. But it honestly depends on like what purpose you're wearing it for. I would recommend the other top if you want something a little bit more casual and comfortable. Although this top is very comfortable. It's just not as comfortable as the other tank. Which brings me to this tank. For the rest of the video, these items are technically, like I didn't recently buy them. I just wanted to show you some of my favorite basics from Aritzia. This is the TNA Home Stretch Muscle Tank. This is $28, so very affordable. And this top has six color options. Three are in their core collection. It's white, heather gray, and black. And then they have three limited edition colors, which I honestly don't love. They have a mauve, an olive, and like a creamy color. Personally, I just love this top in the heather gray. I don't know what it is. Like when I looked at the photo of the white color on the model, I just didn't love it for whatever reason. It just looks so good in heather gray. I, I think it's the fabric. This home stretch fabric is so super soft again just to show you up close i'm not sure if you can really see but definitely more of a casual vibe a little bit more slinky less structured but so comfortable this is another top that i constantly grab for when i'm getting ready for work and again like don't know what to wear and it's just an easy thing to throw on with some jeans and some sneakers and did i say this was heather gray technically on the website this is the heather chrome color so just to clarify i did get this in a size small and the home store Stretch fabric is described as a body hugging, stretchy ribbed fabric with a cottony soft feel. So obviously, even as the description says, it's more cottony, more casual. Every time I wear this to work and come home, I always end up falling asleep in it. This is like honestly one of my favorite pajama shirts because I'm just, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. And then my next little favorite basic from Aritzia is this little tank here. For me, this tank isn't really a standalone item. I definitely wouldn't just wear this tank to work. I think it's a little bit too revealing, obviously. This is my go-to tank whenever I'm wearing like a sweater and need a little tank to throw on underneath or a jacket, or if I'm wearing like a crop top. I have so many tops in my closet that are too short to wear to work and I like need to wear a tank top underneath. And like, this is the tank I wear if I, need to wear it under a crop top. This is just like my go-to tank to throw on under items that I need a little bit more coverage in the tummy area. This I also bought in the waist length. I think they also do have a cropped version of this. And this is called the TNA Hold It New Bergman Tank. And the Hold It fabric is described as an ultra soft stretch jersey that holds its shape while defining yours. And honestly, this is the perfect fabric to wear as a layering piece. Like I mentioned, under sweaters, under other tops, under jackets 
outfits because it's super, super lightweight. The fabric is very thin. Just to show a close up, it's obviously not ribbed at all. It's just like a super, super basic fabric. There's not any like crazy details or anything. Whenever I'm wearing this top, I feel like I'm usually trying to conceal it. This top's never the defining feature of the outfit. I feel like with ribbed fabrics, there's like a little bit more texture there. With this fabric, like it's very much not standing out. And also it's great for wearing under other pieces because it's super body hugging. But yeah, just a great layering top. And this top has six different color options. They obviously have the white. They have two different shades of heather gray. They have a mauve, a blue, and a black. And then my last little favorite basic from Aritzia is this little tee here. I didn't know whether or not to include this because I don't know if I necessarily consider this a basic because of the whole contrast raglan. Like there's kind of a lot going on. The other tops are obviously a lot more basic. There's one color, basic silhouettes, nothing crazy. This one's a little bit more exciting. She's a little bit more exciting. And I thought I would include it because honestly, I find myself grabbing this top a lot just to wear at home, but I also wear it on like a night out. The other day I wore this with a denim mini skirt, like a denim like mini cargo skirt. And it was really, really cute, really cute outfit. But I also wear this at home all the time. Another great little PJ top, also great for just running errands, for getting groceries or, you know, just going out on the weekend, going shopping, whatever you like to do on the weekend. She's just a great, like cute top to throw on, but a little bit more exciting to look at. This is called the TNA Home Stretch Crew Waist Raglan T-shirt. So it's the same fabric as this Heather Gray tank here. This was $25, so definitely very affordable. Portable. And this top has three different color options. All of them, the base color is white, but the sleeves are different colors. So obviously this is one of the color options. This is the white and sugar plum lilac. You might remember sugar plum lilac. That's one of the colors I own in the first top that I showed. Then they also have white with black and white with heather gray or heather chrome. And I also got this in a size small. I also got this in the waist length. Every top I showed you in this haul is in the waist length. Another kind of annoying thing about Aritzia is the waist length is not always the same length depending on what top you buy. Realistically, it should hit between like the hip bone. I don't know. They have a description for the waist length on the website and every top that is marketed as a waist length has the same description, but a lot of them fit very, very different. This one definitely is more of a cropped waist length. If you can even tell the difference with these two tops, I mean, it's very obvious. These are both marketed as the waist length, obviously not the same length. Like, come on now. So this definitely isn't really a top I would wear to work. This for me is more of a loungewear piece slash going out top. Not that I would ever wear this to a club or something, but I also don't go clubbing. Like if I'm hanging out with my friends and going out, we're going to probably more of like a casual bar. And this with some blue jeans and some sneakers is just really cute. Obviously very basic, but just a really cute, easy outfit to throw on, you know, for a night out with the gals. And I honestly just find myself grabbing for this top all the time like genuinely it's one of my favorite tops to throw on and i just feel like the little raglan seam and like the pink white mix like i don't i just really like this top for whatever reason a nice cute little basic to you wear all right you guys well that was everything i hope you guys enjoyed this little aritzia haul slash aritzia favorites video i guess you could say but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't you forget it i know you guys want to stick around you want to make sure you see the next video but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single viewer, every subscriber. You guys mean the world to me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.